In this lesson, we are going to learn about streaming mode of the transformer engine. We will be discovering how streaming mode works, how it benefits us, and a new term called windowing, exclusive to streaming pipelines. Let's get started. A streaming pipeline is a pipeline that runs continuously until you manually stop it, maintaining connections to origin systems and processing data at regular intervals. We should use a streaming pipeline when we expect data to continuously arrive in origin systems. Let's look at an example. When we created a basic pipeline with origin, processor, and destination stages, and then used batch processing to process data, we pulled data from the data source, operated on data, and then stopped the pipeline. The only difference in streaming mode is that we keep our connection to the data source in our origin stages and pull the new arriving data continuously. Because we always expect new data, the pipeline never stops until we say so. Let's say our data source is a file that has lines of data and it gets new data added to the bottom in time. In streaming mode, we pull an initial batch of data and record the last row, operate and write the batch, and then go back to the data source again. Because we recorded the last row we pulled, when we come back to pull new data, we won't pull old data by accident. This process repeats in intervals we configured our pipeline and does not stop until we stop the pipeline. Streaming mode is good in order to operate on continuous data, but streaming data in intervals or immediately as it arrives creates another problem. How do we operate on data that is specific to a time frame? How do we operate on data that is pulled in different batches? The transformer engine solves this problem by offering a specific processor for this, a window processor. What does a window processor do? A window processor is responsible for creating a new batch of data based on its input data and configured conditions. Let's say you want to calculate sales happening for each hour. Sales data comes in at random intervals because clients buy at random intervals. You can add a window processor to the pipeline, configure it in order to hold a batch of data for an hour, and after an hour pass data to the aggregate processor, or whatever calculation you need for that time frame. The window processor will hold incoming data, create a new batch after an hour and pass that batch to the downstream. This behavior is called windowing. A window processor offers more than just holding data at defined intervals. There are four main types of window processors, tumbling, sliding, session, and hopping. Tumbling type creates windows of the specified length, opening a new window as soon as the previous closes. You specify the window length in milliseconds. The first window begins when you start the pipeline. Sliding type creates a window of a specified length when a triggering condition occurs. You specify the window length in milliseconds, you can configure the condition using any Spark SQL syntax that can be used in the WHERE clause of a query. Session type creates a window based on arriving data, closing the window when the specified interval of time elapses without incoming data. You configure the session timeout in milliseconds. Hopping type creates a window of a specified length, then hops forward to create another window. You configure both the length of the window and the hop interval in milliseconds. The hop interval is measured from the beginning of the previous window. You can use the type you need based on your use case if you are using a streaming pipeline. Now that we know what a streaming pipeline is and what window processors do, we can use this knowledge on where we have asynchronously arriving data.